play. Can't play on the field and hopefully. Yeah, no, I've always been goalkeeper since I started. Yeah, no. Oh, it was all my dreams come true when I got selected. Um, that was what I always dreamed of doing as a little kid like you guys, and it was just the best day. Is that a good question? Great question. Dan, there you go, mate. <coughs> Hang on. Um, when did you realise that you wanted to be a goalkeeper? Um, I, I actually got put in goals, and I really liked it. So when I was eight and started in the under nines across the road there, the Manly Soccer Club, I got put in goals and I, I really liked it and found I was good at it. So, you know, I really enjoy playing in goals. Uh, I was just wondering, like, how enjoyable is it and how fun is I mean, how enjoyable and how much money would you make from it? Uh, just wondering. Okay. Well, I obviously didn't make a fortune, but I had a really good life doing it. Um, Enjoyable. It's like getting paid to do something you love. It's just the best. Best to get up and go to training for work. It's just the best. Hang on, just wait a second. Hang on. On uh, yesterday we were talking, Bob, and I asked the boys and girls if they would like to do this as a living. All right. Um, and some of them were like sitting there and thinking, yes, they wouldn't mind doing it for a living. How could you explain it? I know you say it's the best thing to get up and go and do something you really love and get paid for it, but what, you know, a couple of words for him to, to set a goal, I suppose? Well, I mean, everybody loves playing soccer, don't they? Does yeah. everyone love playing soccer? Yeah. yeah, and you all look forward to playing on the weekend and going to training? That's what it's like every day of your life. And if you want to go to training and enjoy yourself and have fun every day of your life, that's what you've got to aim for. And if you aim for that and you work hard and you listen to all your coaches and you practice everything as much as you can, there's no reason why any of you can't achieve it. Dion, you've got a question. You want to stand up, please? Nice and loud. Did you want to do soccer when you were little? Yep, I certainly did. Okay, Jack Lemon at the back there. Um, did you ever get, feel embarrassed if you, like, let a goal in and people were going, boo? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. When you're playing in front of a lot of people and you make a mistake and let a silly goal in, there's, you just want to dig a little hole in the ground and jump inside it, but you know, you can't hide. Once you go out there on the field, there's no hiding. So um, even now, today, you know, I'm playing for Manly Vale Premier League. If I let a stupid goal in, it's a terrible feeling. But, you know, everybody makes mistakes and players that play on the field don't play with a net behind them. So when they make a mistake, they usually get away with it. When a goalie makes a mistake, usually ends up in the back of the net and everybody sees their mistake. Good question. That was a really good question. Jack? Brendan, what stand was, up. What was your worst injury? My worst injury? I was quite lucky. I didn't have too many bad injuries. I didn't really have injuries that stopped me from playing ever. Um, I snapped my AC joint in my shoulder, which is this one here, which holds your collarbone together. And uh, it was quite painful, and it was quite painful for quite a long time, but I'm, I was still able to play with it. favourite big game? It's hard to say, there's been a few of them. Um, usually the grand finals, because I played in five grand finals and they decide whether you win, win the season or not. So all of those grand finals are big, important, special games. And when I played for Australia as well. Charlotte? Is that you, Charlotte? What's your name? Alex. Alex, Alex. something you get, Alex. Um, if you have ever played soccer in a different country, what country was it? Okay, yes, yeah. so I played in England for a living um, for a couple of years, but I've also played in Holland, in China, um, in Germany, uh, where else? Czechoslovakia, lots of different countries were played. Soccer's taken me all over the world. Very good. Who's at the back there? Yes, is that uh, Aiden. Aiden? You're not short on questions, are you? Up you get, up you get, nice and loud, Aiden. Where did you learn how to be a goalie? Where did I learn? I learnt over the road there at Miller's Reserve. And uh, wow. I'm also playing for Manly Reps at um, Cromer Park. And I had a really good goalkeeper coach called Fred Wall, who was really good, and I used to listen to everything he said and, and tried really hard to practice everything he taught me.
do? He said he listened to everything his coach told him. Nico. Uh, what's the biggest crowd you've played in? Oh, I think about 35,000. Where was it? St James Park, Newcastle, in England, against Andy Cole and people like that. Somebody who hasn't asked a question. Who hasn't asked What's a question? What's your name? Indigo, you can stand up and ask a question. When did you want to play soccer? When? Oh, when I was... How old are you? Six. Six. When I was about your age, I wanted to play, but I didn't start till I was eight. eight. Uh, under sevens, I think, was the earliest back then. And we used to play on a full field straight away. Mm. So I used to have to stand in a big goal like that when I was only little. Yeah. Speed, DJ. Up you get. Nice and loud. How many times did you win? Oh. Oh, I was quite lucky. We, went, we won a lot. Um, it's hard to say. Like some seasons more than others. Certainly more than half the games I played, we won. Who hasn't had a question? Who's that up today? Yep. Is that Jack? Me? Yeah. What's your name? Jack. Yeah, yeah up there. Yeah. Nice and loud. Which grand final was your best? Oh. I don't know. They were all good. The ones we won. <laughs> 1988 and 1989. You guys weren't even born then. No. I have a quick question for all you guys. If anybody was here the other on Monday, who was here on Monday? And let's see who was listening. Do you remember how many games Bob played in the NSL? Who can have a go at that? Angus, do you remember? Hello? Brendan? That's Very it. Very good, mate. <laughs> there you go. Now, who can remember how many clean sheets Bob had? Rosie? Any um, more questions, guys? Alex? What made you come to Manor, Oh, what made me come here? I got a phone call from a guy called Ozzy Greco and said, can you help us out? And uh, with the Premier League team and playing goal, I thought my first reaction was, oh, no, I can't, I'm too old. <laughs> and I'm still thinking that. But anyway, I'm doing my best. But soon, guys, uh, Bob is going to start doing some coaching down here, some goalkeeper coaching, a goalkeeper academy. Okay, so you need to keep your eyes on the website or get mum and dad to keep your eye on the website and you can actually come down here uh, a couple of afternoons a week and you're going to be doing some, you're going to be getting some coaching from Bob. So if you think you might want to be a goalkeeper or if you think you want to learn to be a goalkeeper, Bob can help you out and it's going to be right down here at our home here at Manly Bar. Uh, keep that in mind. Alright, questions? Yep. Hard to win, always hard to win. Do people like you being your goal? Yeah, I think so. Depends. Maybe the opposition does. Huh.